Hello everyone, what's up? Prentice 15 here with another video review. Today I'm reviewing LEGO Bionicle 71308 Tahu, the Uniter of Fire, from the 2016 Bionicle line. So, here he is, year two of revived Bionicle. Very excited to have this Tahu 2.0, Tahu Nuva, you might say, uh, even though that seems like that's not where they're going in the story, although we'll kind of touch on that here in a minute. But first, let's look at the box. So here we have Tahu looking all unitary. Uh, we've got his golden mask of... Huh. I guess it's just a golden mask of fire, not a golden mask of unity, maybe? I don't know. Um, it's it's February 1st. They haven't really gone into story details yet. So here it says Uniter of Fire. Ages 8 to 14, of course, that's just a suggestion. They have to put that on there. Uh, 71308, 132 pieces, and it's building toy in multiple languages. So up here it says Lego Bionicle, and it has the Mask of Control. On the back, we have the Creature of Fire, Tahu, and then it, so it's advertising the combo model, affectionately known as Phoenix Tahu. So here it says how you take off the mask. Uh, some of the play features on the box, on the box, on the figure with his swords, and then advertising the waist swivel, and then here we have his comic. So here we have Umarak the hunter being all scary and villainy, a uh, creature of fire about to get caught in some shadow traps, but then Tahu comes along and swats them away, grabs his golden mask, unites with the creature of fire, becomes Tenix Fa uh, Fahu. Phoenix Tahu! <laughs> Wow, and punches Umarak in the face. So that's pretty much it for the box, except for, oh, I'm sorry, except for this little thing right here, which G1 Bionicle fans will recognize as the Nuva symbol for fire. So each of these symbols for their respective element is located on each of these new boxes. So it's kind of interesting because the Nuva symbols kind of match the uh, the the symbol the symbolic language symbolic maybe is the right word because symbolic that means you know what symbolic means maybe because the the uh, Akoshan language seems to be made up of symbols um, it's kind of like the Matoran language of old it's instead of kind of having letters we have symbols for each but um, but this new Okoshan language kind of matches the same kind of aesthetic that the Nuva symbols made. So it'll be interesting to see where that goes in the story. But enough about the story right now, we're not really interested in the story. Well, we are, but not right now because we're looking at the set. Here he is, a full three minutes in the review, I'm finally getting to the toy itself. Here is Tahu, the Uniter of Fire, and his extremely long neck. I mean, look at that, that's... If you thought Tahu 2015 had kind of a short neck, well, Tahu 2016 has a long neck. I mean, look at that. He's like a giraffe. It's kind of noticeable. It's not really noticeable in the box. I mean, it looks fine on the box, but maybe that's because he's kind of turned at an angle with his head going like that. See, that looks fine, but from the front, eh, it doesn't really look fine. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, otherwise, I think he looks he looks great. Some people, some people have complained about um, some gappiness here in the legs, but I think it's fine myself. Um, one thing I do find a little odd is just kind of this blue bow rock eye on either side. That's kind of weird, and I know they put it here, but that kind of sky blue doesn't really fit that well. But, I don't know. But let's move on to his weapons. So, I don't know why I put him down when I could just pick him back up. But his weapons are very interesting because they kind of have this gear attached to them. So if we look at him right here, so this is kind of a... I don't know, this is kind of more of his blunt weapon mode. And then here it is, more in sword mode. So both are constructed pretty much exactly the same except on this side you've got an axle so you can take it out of that hand and attach it down here if I do this without 
screwing it up so you just attach it there as so and boom Tahu now has a big old staff I mean, it's kind of bulky and I'm not sure I put that together right so I'm gonna take that back out but so that's pretty much Tahu except for the one last thing to go over his new waist swivel. Gone are the um, arm swivels, we now, we now have waist swivels. It works well. It's a little stiff. You really kind of have to work at it a bit to get it to move, but it functions properly, so that's nice. And then on the back we have a connection port for the Creature of Fire, but I do not have the Creature of Fire. So we'll just have to make do with Tahu's mask. So just like 2015, you pop off the mask. Nice new mask. Using the eye stock. And then you take the new mask and you just pop it right on. Bob's your uncle. And there you go. Let's see if I can get him to stand up straight in here. There we are. If Tahu looking all golden. So last year, if anyone suffered from too much gold, it was Kopaka. If anyone this year suffers from too much gold, it's Tahu. He is covered in it. He's actually worse than Kopaka was last year. I mean, look at that. That's more. That's very much more gold than red there. So I could really do with some more red, like. I don't know. I mean, that could stay gold. Um, so there's red underneath. If I can get remove these pieces right here. So we have these nice new pieces, but then there's red there, so that's fine. Uh, it does get kind of covered up a little bit, which adds to the over goldiness. Um, that could stay gold. Maybe turn that red and then have these red as well, because it just seems like he has way too much gold. Um, but that's just my opinion. Some people might like the gold, but when he does have his gold mask on and he's paired with uh, the creature of fire on uh, his in his Phoenix Tahu mode, I'm sure he looks um, great with all the gold. Um, but let's go to a quick comparison. So here he is with his last year's edition Tahu 2015. So, here we have Omega Tahu and Phoenix Tahu. That light is kind of interfering. I'm going to move that lamp. Or turn it off. There we go. See? There's a little too much light on the subject. So, here we have the two Tahus. So, new Tahu is a little taller. That may do... Uh, that may play... The reason for that being maybe because of his giraffe neck. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a giraffe neck. Um, both have fire swords, but I the, see this Tahu did the red. And, oops, I'm sorry. I did the red and gold right. This Tahu has way too much gold. But I digress. So here's last year's mask. And here's this year's mask. Let me turn that light back on now. So, I mean, it's interesting to compare these two masks because, I mean, this is obviously supposed to be the G1 How. I mean, it is a How, but um, mod uh, modernized. And then this is supposed to be the Nuva How uh, for doing comparisons to G1 Bionicle. And they look nice. I mean, there's very much, there very much is kind of the same transition from year one to year two mask like there was back in the day. They both look really nice but and different, but you can still tell they're the same mask, so that's nice. So that's it for the size comparison. So what do I think of this set? Well, I think Tahu is yeah, he was he was put to, he's he's a really nice set um, to put together. I really enjoyed putting him together. Uh, he wasn't really too much of a challenge. 
but uh, he was a little more complex than I thought, um, especially figuring out how to build the torso piece um, with the, that allows the swivel in the torso for the first time. That was uh, that was interesting with all the new pieces they added in there. Um, and I'm really glad that they did fix the kind of open ball joint problem from the 2015 Toa because that was kind of a glaring issue and uh, not really noticeable at first but after having after inspecting your figure for a while you did notice that thankfully with 2016 edition there are no ball sockets and actually just to prove that there are no open ball sockets this is an entirely new piece made, made, a bit, bit made up with the new gear system to allow it to swivel as it does and so because of that there is not the two ball sockets right here like on the previous year's uh, skeleton piece. So snapping that back on. That's that's a really nice upgrade and I'm glad they did that and that I think that adds to the figure overall. Um, I, if you're a fan of Bionicle and you want anyone Toa to pick up uh, I, ha I don't have all of them, so I don't know which one to rec uh, recommend over any of the others. But Tahu, if the Tahu is a really, a really nice set, uh, I do like him a lot, even if he is just a little too golden for my taste. But 2016 is off to a pretty good start so far with Bionicle. I um, can't wait to see how these other sets stack up next to Tahu. So, thank you for watching. Uh, like, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I will see you next time. Goodbye.